Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to Small World and thank you for joining me with today's video. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to turn ordinary styrofoam into a miniature stone wall. These stones are simple and easy to make and they look super realistic. Let's start with the foam I use. For this video, I'm going to use pink XPS foam or insulation foam. You can also buy a foam specifically made for scribing and carving, and while it's better and more dense, it's also much more expensive. So if you're making a large diorama with lots of foam walls, roads, or buildings, the pink stuff is much more budget friendly. For the purposes of this video, I'm only going to make a small section of the wall, and I'll just measure and cut a piece using a straight edge and an X-Acto blade. The wall is too thick, so I also trim off a sliver of about 3 16 of an inch. I make sure to make multiple passes with my X-Acto blade along all sides until I cut all the way through. Any rough cuts into the foam can easily be sanded away using some 240 grit sandpaper. If the scratches of the sandpaper are too deep, you can always refine them with a finer grit. Now that the piece is cut, it's time to start scribing the stone texture. You can draw the stones on the foam before scribing, but I personally just freehand the shapes while looking at my reference photos. References are super important for carving organic stone. It's easy to assume what a rock wall looks like, but it's more likely that carving from memory is less accurate than having a reference picture. To make the wall look more organic, I cut off some of the stones along the edge of the wall, resulting in a more jagged look. Now that our pattern is scribed into the foam, we can start widening the gaps between the stones. An ordinary toothpick will suffice, and make sure to shape the rocks during this step. You can do this while widening the gaps by rounding off some of the corners of the stones to make them look more natural and less sharp. The next step is to use a ball of aluminum foil and stamp a rough texture into our foam wall. This gives the overall flat surface some nice dimension, and it helps our wall actually look like stone texture. And now for the paint. I base coated the textured wall with a coat of cheap, black acrylic paint. Be sure to get into all the cracks and crevices as best as you can to cover up all of the pink color. Once the black has dried, I do a heavy dry brush of a mixture of deck tan and black. This color can be pretty dark. I lighten the color by adding buff to it and do another heavy dry brush layer. And lastly, the color is lightened once more using pure white. When building up the colors on top of each other, make sure to leave some of the previous layers visible. And here are the completed gray tones. I then take some deck tan and highlight the top edges of the stones. Then I blend that highlight with some water to make it look more subtle and less harsh. Earth tones are added by using a wash of Van Dyke Brown and Burnt Sienna. The effect may look a little strong at first, but once dry, it'll blend nicely with the gray tones underneath. I speckle the stones using watered down white and Van Dyke Brown paint to add more texture. Then I have to go back and kind of redo the highlight effect with deck tan. I 
I also reinforce the earth tones again in the same way. Moss stains are added by applying some washes of green gold and raw sienna. You can skip this step if you'd prefer your stones that have the more gray color. And here's the finished stone wall. Carving stones out of foam is one of my favorite techniques to do because it always amazes me how much detail you can get with such little cost in tools and material. I may do more of these foam carving tutorials in the future for different kinds of stone and brick. I hope you learned something and that you found this video useful. Also, a big shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for all of your support. If you'd like to join them and help me out on Patreon, I offer tons of exclusive content such as 3D models, early access videos, process pictures between videos, and much more. Well anyways, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Also here are some bloopers. Be sure to get into all the cracks and crevices. You can skip this step if you would prefer a more grayish color stone. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>